Hello, my name is Yukio Nagasaki, University of Tsukuba, Japan. Welcome to our abstract site. First of all, let me explain the essence of our paper. We have designed 40 nanometer particle, which scavenge reactive oxygen species. Our nanoparticle accumulated significantly in inflamed colon mucosa area by oral administration. Nanoparticle cannot absorb blood stream via mesentery to avoid possible side effect to whole body. Loss scavenging character suppressed inflammation effectively in colon mucosa area. As you are well known, ulcerative colitis is a chronic and intractable inflammatory disease in colon area. Reactive oxygen species plays an important role to increase inflammation. However, low molecular weight antioxidant is not suitable for this treatment because it is absorbed in bloodstream via small intestine and cannot reach enough amount of in colon area. In order to improve effective efficiencies of a therapeutic effect for ulcerative colitis, we have to improve delivery efficiency of antioxidant for loss scavenging activity. Let me show you accumulation tendency of our nanoparticle in colon mucosa area. In order to confirm accumulation tendency of our nanoparticle, nanoparticle was fluorescent labeled and monitored by fluorescent microscope. As you can see here, almost no fluorescent was observed when low molecular weight dye was orally administered. On the contrary, Strong fluorescence was observed in colon mucosa area when nanoparticle was administered orally. Quantitative accumulation tendency in colon mucosa was analyzed by an electron spin resonance. Low molecular weight temporal, which is one of ESR probe, shows almost no intensity due to the uptake in bloodstream. When polystyrene nanoparticle and microparticle were administered orally, size-dependent accumulation was observed, namely, polystyrene nanoparticle possessing 40 nanometer showed highest accumulation among polystyrene particles tested here. Interestingly, when RNP was administered orally to mice, considerable high accumulation of RNP in colon was observed as compared to polystyrene particles, even though they are same size. The reason is shown in the paper. This is drug uptake to blood stream as a function of time. Low molecular weight temporal was absorbed in blood stream, especially colitis mice. On the contrary, no uptake was observed for our nanoparticle as administration. These data shows that we do not need to consider side effect in whole body. Let me move to the therapeutic effect of our nanoparticle for ulcerative colitis mice. We carried out two different experiments. One is protective effect and the other is therapeutic effect. In the case of protective effect, we administered our nanoparticle once a day along with free administration of DSS. For protective effect, colon length was measured like this. Nanoparticle-treated mice recovered colon length to almost control level. Finally, we investigated the survival rate of mice with colitis induced as a therapeutic effect. In case of therapeutic effect, we first administered DSS for five days, then RMP was orally administered. After 15 days of treatment, orally administered low molecular weight tempore slightly increased the survival rate compared with DSS colitis mice. On the contrary, RMP treated significantly increased the survival rate of DSS treated mice to 83%. In conclusion, oral treatment of our nanoparticle shows significant effect to protection and therapy for DSS injured ulcerative colitis mice. Detailed data will be shown in a paper. Thank you very much for your kind attention and I hope you can enjoy our paper.